This video is not going to be one of those strategy videos, but the one you have been asking since a long time. और भाइयों और उनकी बहनों, I am finally providing you the note of class 10th ICSE. मॉली इतना सस्पेंस क्यों? कुछ तो है नेगेटिव एनर्जी जो नोट्स को देने से रोक रहा है। यार देवी दो। Can you tell important questions from each chapter, especially in physics? Please, Molly. And at this point of time, I realized. Something needs to be done. So in this video, I'm not only providing you the notes for class in the ICSE, but also providing you some important questions. Now that your boards are starting from 27th of February 2023, you are left with one month, and I hope you must have completed your syllabus. But even if you haven't, don't worry. I have a solution for that. You can practice the questions which I'm giving you right now. Because they have a high chances of coming in your exam. No, no, paper to apne banana hai. Is what most people will say. I know that, but still, I'm giving you these questions. Just practice them because I don't, I don't mean that the same digit or the same unit will come, but I'm sure that these kind of questions will come. I don't think it's the right time to watch the strategy videos. Rather, you can solve a lot of questions. So for that, I would highly recommend you the Oswald book ICSE sample question class ten. The first book I have is English language. As you can see on the first page, we have the syllabus, and then we have the topics found difficult by the candidates giving the examination. They have provided some suggestions for students, so they uh, rectify their mistakes or they never do the mistakes in their first attempt. This book includes crisp revision with on-tip notes and mnemonics. We have the concept clarity with thousand plus concepts along with the smart mind maps which you can see over here. Then we have the sample question paper one. They have provided everything which is there in your tenth board paper. Not only the format but also the questions are more or less same which comes in your board examination. They are provided with solutions as well, and this book provides extensive practice with 200 plus MCQs and objective questions. This book guarantees you 100% exam readiness with 2023 specimen paper analysis. The next we have over here is mathematics. On the first page, uh, we have the same thing like the syllabus, and then we have the topics which are found difficult by the candidates and some suggestions for students as well. And here we have the solved paper, and you can see they are provided by answers as well. And like this question was like I guess in my board paper or my pre-board paper when I'm not sure, but this question, the heights and distance question, this came in my board paper. This also consists of mind maps, which can make your understanding even more easier. And what I like even more about this book is the notes of the chapters. Every chapter, like beat matri matrices, ratio and proportion, heights and distance, etc., etc., we can call them one-page notes because they are really short and very useful. Over here, we have the sample paper one, and the best thing about this book is the examiner comment and the answering tip. The examiner's comments box mainly tells us about the mistakes we do, and the answering tips tells us how to rectify those mistakes. Link is in the description box. Buy it now. Now we all know that 97% questions are easy ones and 3% are difficult ones. First, let's start with mathematics. This question is from our board paper and it was in the chapter heights and distances. This similar question will not come, but I'm just telling you that these kind of questions can come. Like this is very simple question, so you can uh, you can solve it very easily. Then we have the graph question. So usually it comes in this format. In the first part we have to plot, in the second we have to reflect, and in the third we have to join and make a figure. And tangents, chords, these type of questions often come, especially in circles part. Then I have one. One more question and that is of OJ for Ojai, whatever you can say. Many students were saying that trigonometry is very tough. We are not able to solve it. Even we have practiced a lot of times. But let me tell you, practice is the only key. So just practice. And the questions of trigonometry are very easy uh, when it comes in the board paper. You can, you can just try these questions. And the age questions are very, 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 very important. Then we have the simple questions of matrix. We already know matrix is a very easy chapter. So yeah. Then we have this uh, another question of matrix. 
then we have one airplane question as well that time i had my mcq so it came in the form of mcq's objective type but now you have to make the equation and solve it then we have again the chord and tangent co tangent questions uh circle question like this can like questions like these can come i'm not saying this will only come but question like these can come then we have uh this how many solid cylinder can be dash 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 by melting this and that then we have equation of straight line um i have already uploaded a video on how to solve the questions of equation of straight line you can see if you have problem in that and probability questions are very simple uh it's very simple questions aate hain like uh, the balls one and the dice one please solve all these questions next is chemistry the reaction which comes every time in board paper i guess is the reaction of cu with hno3 and then we have the nomenclature of some simple organic compound and often they give the box in which we have to fill in the blanks and also give some answers the question of the chapter nitric acid came a lot over the years so the questions which i'm showing you right now you should just solve them we have the observation questions as well where first we have to write the reaction balance it and also write the observation especially the color numericals of mole concepts are there sometimes the question comes like we have to distinguish two compounds or elements on the basis of their reactivity uh, with a particular metal or a non metal this second question which is quite simple came in the chemistry paper of 2016 here we had to draw the diagram that is a structural diagram but in 2022 it came as a nomenclature like an iupsc naming question so yeah questions repeat many times from the pyqs and the empirical formula molecular formula questions are of course 100% guaranteed questions the solution to this question is this then we have some diagram based questions as well this is the fountain experiment this question also came in our board paper I had one question pre-board and it was incorrect just because I drew the alpha particles and beta particles of the same length but beta particles are shorter than alpha particles. This question came in a pre-board paper and we have the sound question as well. Diagram based questions are also there and the main thing is the numericals and in current electricity chapter the numericals which comes in board examination are quite simple if you practice them daily. Then we have the fulcrum questions also. and this question this question really comes a lot of times like a lot of times for calorimetry if you just want to get an idea of how the questions come you can solve that question then we have the pulley question as well uh this is a question they will be asking the kind of pulley is the purpose of pulley and one numerical don't just learn the diagram but also understand it first learn when a ray is passed through the focus what happens in my pre board paper factors were asked a lot and this question this pencil question is very 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 in very important that 10 to the power infinity important then we have the numerical of pulley where we have to draw a diagram of it and then just calculate it here we had to calculate the load and write the unit as well this pendulum question also comes the question number b is really important uh for example not this question but yeah this question even as sir told it will come and it came in my board paper guys just ignore my face right now it is well i cannot speak louder but i just want to say that there are three main things which we often make mistakes in the number one number first thing is that we forget to change the unit like suppose kg is to be converted into grams so we just try it in kg solve it and we say yeah answer is correct but then we realize that oh my goodness we had to convert that unit into other unit that is grams second is not writing the unit some people they just solve the question the question is correct but at the last they haven't written the what they say it unit and if you don't remember the unit you can just learn the formula of that you you can just recall the formula of that question and then you can just write the units and the third thing we often do sometimes it's sometimes like some question consist of board mass kind of thing so we have to we have to multiply plus minus etc but some people first they add and then subtract and at the last they divide but we do that so that one just making you aware of these things
I just wanted to clarify one thing and that is the organ which produces urea is liver but the organ which excretes urea is kidney. So diagram based questions are gonna come and also the sequence based questions. And over here we have the stages of cell division. They'll not ask you the diagram of heart. Instead of that they'll be asking you the labeling. The brain question came in our board examination. It has chances but because it came in our board so I'm not sure whether it will come in your board as well. Then we have the punet square and the uh, genotype phenotype and these diagrams with labelings true and false with the correct form statement will also come um, the reason why i'm showing you all this is that so that you can practice neuron diagram we have been doing this since class sixth this question came in our pre-board and this is the circulate double circulation system this is spinal cord and then we have give reasoning questions also just have a look at it and just see whether you are able to answer these we have the diagram of eye and this question this thyroid pituitary question came a lot of time in board examination and we have this as well and this also for computers all the programs all the output questions and some simple questions i have in my notes i have provided you in the description box you may check it now you may check other subjects as well in computers, whenever you write programs, remember that you should write the comments along with the VD table. For English literature, I must say that stories and poems, you just have to read and read again and just use those figure of speeches and beautiful answers and answers which make sense. Okay, And also in Merchant of Venice. Uh, most of you are saying that we are not able to understand Merchant of Venice. I have made the part 1 and part 2 that even if you watch that video, you will be able to write the answers. So if you just watch that, it's better. It will be better. If you just want to know how the board format is, just have a look at this 2016 English language question paper. Over here we have the composition choices. And in for or against question, make sure you are either for or against. Not uh, It should be not that you are first writing for and then against. Take one side only. And then uh, according to me, I always say in this, in, in my every video I say this thing, that uh, you should attempt the narrative part. And then if you are not able to attempt it or you do not feel like attempting it, then you may attempt the descriptive part and after that, but in descriptive part, you have to mention all the senses. That is what you see, what you smell, what you hear and what you feel. Okay. And uh, talking about picture composition, I may not recommend this. But still, if you are great at describing pictures, then you may. Then we have the letter, etc. We had email and notice also. But I am not sure whether you are having that uh just let me know in the comments but yeah talking about this thing uh we have the tenses and then we have the prepositions practice five prepositions every day and english language is the subject which comes in the top five category so you must practice it and english language as a subject is my sabse kam number and we have this then we have joined the uh, uh, sentences to make one complete sentence without using and button. So rewrite the sentences unless ka matlab hota if not. So agar aapko unless mein uh, dikkat aari ki mujhe pehle unless mein aari thi. Yeh mujhe pata nahi tha unless means if not. Matlab mujhe in a sense that matlab mujhe pata tha use kaise karte hai but fair way mein confused ho rahi thi. So unless if not hota hai. So if Mary catches the first bus she will be on time for school. Unless Mary catches the first bus. bus. Yani ki agar Mary ne first bus catch nahi kari, she will not be on time for school. Aisa hoga na. So ye bus nahi tha. So let's talk about Hindi. Hindi mein ye hai muhabre prayavachi aapko yaad karne padte hain. Wo aapko khudi karne padenge. Aur agar baat ki jai aapke essays ki, to aur formal and informal letter mein se so I am informal but formal is okay format is good in it so Hindi you get choices in Hindi in Sahitya Sagar 
साहित्य सागर ही है ना हाँ साहित्य सागर एकांकी संचय में से देन वी हैव जोग्राफी जिसमें सबसे पहला पार्ट हमारा मैप्स का होता है डिस्क्रिप्शन में मैंने डाल रखे हैं सारे मैप्स और ये से गोल्डन कोऑर्डिनेटर है ट्रांसपोर्ट से ट्रांसपोर्ट वाले चैप्टर से आ जाता है हर बार एंड दिस इज़ द मैप एंड सबसे मेन तो है गिव रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन स्पेशली ये सारे रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन सीख रहे हैं आप इसको प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं इनका आंसर ये वाला है डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस एंड दैट ये भी आता है एंड वन वर्ड भी आते हैं सबसे ज़्यादा दिक्कत मुझे क्लाइमेट चैप्टर में होती थी बिकॉज उसमें रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन बहुत होते थे तो तो मैंने उसको शायद से ऑप्शनल चैप्टर्स में रखा था हमारी टोपोग्राफी भी आती है एंड उसमें मैंने इसके भी नोट्स डाल रखे हैं डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में आप चेक कर सकते हो कन्वेंशनल सिंबल साइन सब कुछ डाल रखा है एंड अगर इसकी सेपरेट वीडियो बनानी है देन यू कैन जस्ट कॉमेंट डाउन आई डेफिनेटली मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर इट एंड ये बाकी जोग्राफिक रीजन द पिक्चर स्टडी ऑफ हिटलर केम इन बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन एंड इट वॉज क्वाइट सिंपल दे वर आस्किंग द इमीडियट कॉज ऑफ द सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड वी वर एबल टू डू ऑल द एम सी क्यूज वेरी ईजीली एंड द नोट्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री सिविक्स लाइक एवरी सब्जेक्ट द नोट्स ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स दिस क्वेश्चन केम इन माई सिस्टर्स बोर्ड एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज़ वेरी पॉपुलर एज वेल एंड द इमीडियट कॉज ऑफ फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर वॉज द सारा जीवो क्राइसिस वी ऑल नो and uh, you can see the answers aim and objectives of un and two reasons why lord curzon to justify the partition of bengal then we have the executive powers it this question came in my pre board and i forgot anjaliya wala bag tra- tragedy of course is very important then we have this can you please tell me in the comments what is the answer of this then we have the civil disobedience movement वेयर डांडी मार्च वज द हिस्टोरिक मार्च यू एन पर्पज एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव यू कैन राइट इन योर ओन वर्ड्स दैन इन सब एक्सपोर्शन दे गिव अर्स द पिक्चर स्टडी ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सी अगेन वी हैव दिस पॉपुलर क्वेश्चन ओवर हेयर एंड देन वी हैव दिस पिक्चर स्टडी ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच ओ सी यू गाइज जस्ट हैव टू लर्न द डेट्स लर्न द ट्रीटीज साइन बिटवीन डिफरेंट पार्टीज द मेन कॉजेज ऑफ द इंसिडेंट the name of the incidents and also the functions of who um security council etc etc and also main thing i forgot to tell you about is that uh, yeah in rajya sabha now two anglo indian members are removed that's not a system now so yeah that was all for the video guys link is in the description box for the oswal sample paper questions and also my notes also and yeah finally i made this video for you guys you have been waiting for this since a long time like for the notes so i am finally uploading it then not at all perfect but at the same time it is kind of systematic i can say so yeah i have provided you the notes and it's currently 127 and tomorrow is my school I'm gonna get beaten if I do not wake up on time. So I'm sleeping. Bye. Ta ta bye bye. Ta ta bye. There are two kinds of dreams. The first one is which prevents you from waking up, but the second one is which prevents you from sleeping. Just because you want to chase them and achieve your goal, which dream do you prefer the most? Comment down.